yo you guys this is blacklist of the abyss and you're watching my review for world trigger chapter 126 now originally I, what i planned on doing was waiting until th this week's chapter came out on monday and then reviewing both at the same time all right but i forgot that last week was a double issue for jump which means there was no chapter this week so yeah um it's my fault but uh yeah, review. so I figured I might as well just do the review now instead of waiting another week for no reason. Uh, so yeah. And this chapter was mostly fight scenes, really. Um, the first fight scene was obviously Yosuke and Miwa beginning to fight Koskero and some of the Idris. And um, it turns out that Koskero actually has this jelly shield kind of thing where it, it just it covers, it covers Yosuke's spear in this gel stuff and prevents it from cutting through anything all right um, so while Miwa shot through the shields of the Idris and started taking them out Yusuke had to go get another spear and then he went and attacked uh, a couple Idris and then attacked Koskero again but he manipulated the shape of the blade so that Koskero he went to go block in the blade literally just he was going through, and then he kind of just like went like this, and then, and then, and then going like that with the blade, um, and ended up cutting off the dude's leg. All right, so yeah, this dude's most likely gonna lose, like really badly. Uh, he's not doing too well. Um, Wen, on the other hand, is doing pretty good. She's doing pretty good for herself. She started fighting Yuko one on one while Ray was taking out some of the dogs. Uh, but she's she saw the what, what the situation was, realized that the dogs weren't going to be able to keep Ray occupied for very long, and she's smart actually. It's and she's so casual about it and so calm about it. She'll come up with all these good tactics and just be like the entire time like it's nothing. Like this 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 is expected of me, you know. This of course someone like me would be able to do this. Like <laughs> she's just so calm about it. It's funny. She uh, created a smoke screen and then used her trigger to disguise herself as Yuko. Because we saw earlier, they they disguised themselves as uh, Treon soldiers. Well, she can disguise herself as people as well. She disguised herself as Yuko and went back to back with Rey. And while Rey didn't have her guard down because she was, you know, looking at through the smoke screen and everything, she was still able to catch Rey off guard and cut her arm off. When? I'm impressed. I'm, I'm legitimately impressed right now. All right. So, while Koskero is currently losing, when is currently winning? So that's what's going on right now with those two big fights. Um, Rata and Gatlin are making their way down to the to the um, the, the 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 thing that they use for the away missions, um, and they have a feeling that Border is prepared for them. And they're 100% right about that. <laughs> uh, they've got Kazuma, Tachikawa, Murakami, and Kyrie just waiting for them. All right. And to my surprise, I wasn't expecting this, but Kyrie actually just straight up told Tachikawa, listen, Jean's foresight said that you were going to get cut down. Though specifically the way she phrased it was split in two. Which even though she says that, I still don't know if that means he's going to die or not. Because he has a tree on body, right? So... I mean, is 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 he gonna be defeated with his Treon body, and then after that get sliced in two, or is the slicing in two gonna be his Treon body, and he's just gonna be fine? You know, still don't really know for sure what that means. But Tachikawa wasn't really worried, or at least he tried not to show that he was worried. He looked like he was actually kind of excited because he was gonna get a challenge. Um, but you know, there might have been a, a tiny bit of worry there, um, but not. Most likely not really at all. Um, and the last part of the chapter is Jean. He's, he's trying to think of what he should do to help Border. And he realizes that Yotaro is actually on his way to the to Border to stop Hughes. So, Yotaro, like, yo, listen. That one episode of the anime, alright? From like a a week or two ago, or however long ago it was, it was like an episode that was entirely about Yotaro. 
That was freaking great. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like this kid at first. But now he's freaking great. I love every single scene he's in. It's just hilarious. I love this kid. All right. I just love this kid. All right. Yo, Tara, I'm, I'm excited to see what he's going to do. All right. Oh, Hughes was in the chapter two, but there wasn't really much going on there. So don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, that's that's the chapter. And honestly, I thought it was a pretty solid, good chapter of World Trigger. It's exactly what I would expect. So I'll give it an 8 out of 10. And that's that, you guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at BlacklistOTA. And I'll see you guys next time.